What's going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at the Senna Prism Tube. Now typically we know Senna for making really high quality Bluetooth products for motorcycle helmets like the Senna 20S, which is what I personally use and absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. But today we're going to be looking at a tiny action camera they make called the Prism Tube. Now the Prism Tube is a tiny camera that does one thing and one thing only. It shoots 1080p footage at 30 frames a second. That's it. I know it's weird to say, but this camera doesn't do photos, it doesn't do time lapse, kind of, we'll talk about that later in the video though, it doesn't do burst photo, it literally only does video. The camera's got a 125 degree field of view, that's in contrast to the GoPro's 170 degree field of view on its wide setting, so the shot is going to be a little more cropped in than something you might be used to. So the camera's got a built in non-removable battery, which sucks because that means when the camera dies, it is dead. There's no changing the battery out to get more battery life. The good news about it is though, the camera is said to have two hours of record time, but in my testing, I actually found that it has two hours and 40 minutes of record time, which for an action camera is pretty high up there in how long you can record for one battery. So at least the battery life is pretty good. So with a name like Cine Prism Tube, you kind of have to have a certain design. And this camera absolutely fits inside of that design. It's very similar to the contour cameras that are currently out on the market. It's very low profile. It does not attract a lot of attention on the side of your helmet. It's also not going to give you a lot of wind problems while riding down the road if you have it attached to your helmet. So as far as usability goes with this camera, it really cannot get any simpler. You've got two buttons on the entire camera. You've got the on and off button that's going to turn the camera on and off. So the second button is actually going to be on the back of the camera behind the little screwed on cap. You're going to find the format button along with the memory card slot and the micro SD card area. So the format button on the back of the camera is actually what you use to format the memory card that's inside the camera at that time. Simply holding that button down for a matter of seconds will then format the card that you currently have in the camera. Another benefit of this camera with everything being so tiny and compact, it is water resistant. It's not waterproof, don't go swimming with this guy, but it should be able to survive a rainstorm if you're riding down the road and you get into a bad situation. So other than the usability, one of my favorite parts about this camera is that it comes with everything you need to start moto vlogging right inside the box. In addition to the camera and the user guide, you're also going to get a small adapter that goes into the back of the camera. That's going to lead to an available port that you can now use with the microphone that also comes in the box to record your voice straight to the camera. In addition to those things, you're also going to see a 3M sticky mount in case you want to mount this camera to the side of your helmet or maybe to the side of your motorcycle, along with a lower helmet mount that's going to screw into the bottom of your helmet using two Allen screws. So to test out the microphone and the camera, I threw it on the side of my helmet, I put the microphone inside of my helmet, and then I went for a ride to check out the audio quality. Check it out. So right now we're about 3000 RPMs, we're just really slow, I'm probably dominating the audio. We're now going to cut to a clip of me on a faster road at higher RPMs so you guys can judge what the wind noise sounds like, what the bike sounds like, what do I sound like. That way you'll be able to judge everything for yourself. All right, let's get a cruising speed. All right, that's lowering the revs, going 50. So guys, I have the microphone exactly where I typically have the microphone in my helmet. So you can judge the audio for what it is. So that was the audio quality. Now I wanted to test out the video quality against Senna's other camera, the Senna Prism. Now keep in mind, the Senna Prism's price point is $249 versus the Senna Prism Tube's $119. That's over twice the price you're going to pay for the Senna Prism versus the Senna Prism Tube. Regardless, that's the other camera that Senna makes, so I wanted to test them out versus each other. So to test these cameras' video quality out, I took them to a park, I set up this little time-lapse shot, and I attached the Senna Prism to a monopod, and then I used gaffer tape to tape the Senna Prism Tube to the Prism. I was trying to get the closest shot I possibly could. So we'll start out with the shot of the Prism Tube. And now here's the Senna Prism. Based on the video footage that I got, I personally think the bitrate for this video is a little small. If you look in the details like the grass, that's where you can tell that the bitrate's a little lacking for my personal taste. So all in all, who do I think needs a Senna Prism tube? 
I honestly think this is a fantastic camera. If you're interested in moto vlogging, or maybe like you don't know if you want to get into moto vlogging, for 120 bucks, you have a very capable small camera that's low profile on your helmet. It comes with a microphone that's gonna cap out if you don't talk very well, but for $120, you can't expect a really nice microphone, a really awesome video quality. This is a very awesome entry level camera to get into a hobby that you don't know if you want to get into. Let's say you don't know if you want to start motor vlogging. You get this camera for 120 bucks. You get a microphone, you get your camera, and you end up liking motor vlogging. Now you've got a camera and a microphone that works okay. You use that time, save up for your GoPro, your nice microphone, and then when you get the upgraded camera and the upgraded mic, you now use this as an on-bike camera because it's so low profile, you don't even notice that it's there, and it's easy to get all types of shots around your bike. Now you've instantly got a two camera set up. I think for 120 bucks, this camera is not bad at all, and I love the fact that it comes with everything you need to use it for all the user cases that you have right out of the box. So guys, that's about all I've got for the Center Prism Tube review. If you want more information on this camera, I'll leave links in the description for you guys to check out. If you like this video, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe to the channel for more reviews. I'm Chase on Two Wheels, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.